Thank you for watching this video about the editing tools in Raw Power for iOS. This is an Olympus Raw image. To adjust the image, I can tap on the Edit button in the upper right corner or tap the Adjust button in the Inspector. In the top left of the screen, there is a menu with commands to rotate and flip, reset adjustments, and copy and paste. There is also a help system with information on each adjustment. At the top of the adjustments is the histogram. The circles next to the word histogram are clipping indicators which continuously update to tell you if you have clipped or overexposed pixels in your image. In this image, there are clipped pixels in the red, green, and blue channels. If you tap the gray circle, you will see a hot and cold pixel overlay. Red indicates pixels clipped in at least one channel. Blue indicates pixels that are black or zero in all channels. The other circles let you see clipping in each channel separately. The waves in the middle of the image are severely overexposed. If I drag the exposure slider down, you can see just how much detail is actually present in the raw file. We can't access that data with the exposure slider without darkening the image a lot. Two tools that can be helpful with bright pixels are highlights and recovery. You can tap the show original button in the upper right to see the image without the adjustments applied. As you can see, they do bring some detail back, but a lot less than we saw earlier. To get much better highlight recovery, we will use the power built into Apple's raw engine on iOS. Here we'll use the boost slider, which controls the overall look of the image. Adjusting boost is extremely important for overexposed images because it tends to make images brighter. I'll dial it back about halfway. If I went all the way to zero, the image would look flat. That can be a great starting point in some cases, but here we don't need to go that far. Once I've done that, I can just move recovery. You can see how much more detail I got with very little work. When I finish editing, I tap the Done button to save the image to the photo library. Two other important adjustments are curves and crop. Curves is a very powerful adjustment, which allows you to adjust individual channels of an image. I'll tap on the Curves adjustment to enable it. Next, I'll use the Auto RGB button to color balance the image and add contrast. You can see how each channel has been changed. I can also tap on the curve to add points and double tap to delete points. Next, I'll go to Crop and turn it on. Then I'll enable the Crop tool. As I change the crop, you can see the megapixel readout on the left updating. This can help you avoid overcropping an image. Tap OK and then tap Done. Depth Effect is a cool adjustment for images shot with the dual camera system on devices like the iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. It only works for portrait images shot on iOS 11 not an iOS 10. This adjustment lets you adjust the highlights and shadows of a portrait image independently. In this case, I want to brighten the foreground flower. As I move the shadow slider, you'll see that most of the image brightens instead. This isn't what I want. To get what I want, I need to manipulate the depth information in the image. To do that, I tap on the button next to the word depth effect. This brings up the depth overlay. White means foreground and black means background. Since most of the overlay is very light, that means that the dual camera considered most of the image to be foreground. I want more separation, so I'll drag the depth mask slider. As I do, you can see much of the mask get darker, indicating that more of it will be considered background. Now as I move the shadow slider, just the foreground flower brightens. And I can move the background highlight slider to darken the upper right flower. You can see the difference. Raw Power is free to download, but three adjustments require in-app purchasing. Those three are curves, white balance, and depth effect.